Elsewhere, as the Edward Snowden affair grows vastly complicated for the United States, Washington has revoked the whistleblower's passport due to uh, felony arrest warrants against him. A State Department spokesperson says Snowden should not be allowed to travel any further around the world other than a travel that returns him back home to the United States. Snowden has fled to Moscow from Hong Kong en route to Ecuador, potentially setting off a diplomatic crisis. He's asked for asylum in Ecuador, but the Ecuadorian foreign minister has not said whether his country would accept Snowden's request. Snowden is a former contractor at the U.S. National Security Agency. He's wanted by Washington for leaking a top-secret spying program whose extent encompasses not only U.S. citizens, but also many countries overseas. James Corbett, editor of the CorbettReport.com, joins us now from Osaka to give us some more insight on that story. Mr. Corbett, welcome to the program. Uh, I'd like to get your opinion on how this uh, Snowden affair is unraveling and also about the fresh charges that have been uh, brought against uh, Edward Snowden. Well, this is uh, certainly interesting. It's a fascinating story to be watching in, in live real time as, it, as the story unfolds in this international drama. And it has all sorts of political and ge geopolitical and uh, domestic ramifications, of course, not only in the U.S., but in all of the countries that are be being mentioned and being floated as possible places where Snowden is going to end up. There's already talk about uh, problems with the, the American-Chinese relationship that this may have caused, et cetera, et cetera. But in a sick way, I think what this drama and all of the attention on the Snowden case in particular does is uh, to actually bolster the U.S. government position because it not only draws attention away from the actual content of the leaks themselves and the real scandal about NSA spying, but it also gives the U.S. government a chance to uh, to show any would-be potential whistleblowers within the national security establishment exactly what will happen to them if they ever choose to blow the whistle. It's been firmly established by now that leaks are and, and whistleblowers are treated as criminals and will be prosecuted under the Espionage Act. So in a strange way, this actually bolsters the U.S. government's uh, totalitarian control over the, uh, the whistleblowers within their own system. Uh, if you can, give us your thoughts on, on the, uh, the final uh, uh, end spot of where Mr. Snowden could end up. He's gone from Hong Kong to Moscow, possibly to Ecuador. How do you think that situation will, will pan out? And also, if you believe that there is a striking similarity with what's happening with Snowden and the case of, uh, of one Bradley Manning and also uh, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. Well, it certainly isn't surprising that the uh, the Bolivarian Alliance for the Americas countries are being mentioned in conjunction with this uh, Cuba, Venezuela, Ecuador, obviously representing a, a, a power block there in Latin America that's very much uh, against U.S. imperialism. So I don't think it's a surprise that those names would be floated or that Ecuador would be considering giving asylum. Uh, it's also still possible, I think, that this is being floated as a type of diversionary tactic as the, the real um, end spot might be Iceland still. I think that that might be a place where this this might be going and they talk about Ecuador may, may be a type of diversion from that. But I, again, I find it fascinating that so much attention is being put on uh, Snowden at the exact same time as another NSA whistleblower, Russell Tice, just stepped forward with some f incredible new revelations, including the fact that in 2004, the NSA was wiretapping President, uh, soon to be President Barack Obama, then an Illinois state senator, uh, presumably for the, the purpose of blackmailing um, the, the information that they found out about him, as well as General David Petraeus, uh, White House Press Secretary Scott McClellan, a whole range of names that uh, Russell Tice has just revealed. And journalists like Gr Glenn Greenwald, who uh, are endlessly documenting every twist and turn in the Snowden case, haven't even acknowledged that this other NSA whistleblower has just stepped forward with these new revelations. So some amazing things are going on right now uh, behind the scenes, and they're not being reported on as Snowden takes the uh, the, the sort of the, the, the wind out of the sails of the NSA spy story, but people who are interested can go to CorbettReport.com for my own interview with Russell Tice, the other NSA whistleblower who is being ignored in all of this. Editor of, of uh, CorbettReport.com, Mr. James Corbett, joining us from Osaka. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us here on Press TV. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.